Greetings and welcome back to the colonists. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we were having a few problems with a road post, and I reported this uh, issue to the developer. And by the way, the developer of this game is so awesome. Uh, he's very attentive to bug reports and all this, and I was told that it's probably fixed on the development branch, which is coming uh, from my perspective in the next day or so. Um, however, I should tell you that I'm recording quite a bit ahead because I just can't get enough of this game. I'm really excited about it. So no doubt this is already fixed. However, um, since I don't have that updated thing just yet, uh, we're going to try a different uh, solution with this whole thing here because we need to get stuff done. So uh, what's happening now is these guys are, there's all kinds of, um, they're sort of blocked here and these guys are not getting any wood where they should. All these people should be providing wood to them, but they're kind of all stuck. So um, a better solution is to do what um, Avon and I figured out earlier today. We had a wonderful, wonderful kind of um, strategy session um, where I was uh, using the Discord uh, screen share and we were just looking at the colony and, and figuring out, you know, what's a good solution for this, this and that. And we had a wonderful time and uh, we figured out some good good stuff to do so one of those things that we decided to do was destroy all the roads here all the roads gotta go yep yep no 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 not the forestry just the roads thank you and instead we're going to replace them with paths because part of the issue here that we're experiencing has to do with um let's see take that that way um some of the energy is getting in here and uh that's not what we wanted we tried to block it with the road posts and that did work but still there was all this energy piling up at this road post oh and this one's got to go as well um that nothing could really move now if you go with a solution like this all of this is on the same path so essentially these guys will all deliver their energy to the lumberjacks with the stack bots and then the excess energy will go to the road and this is kind of a perfect solution uh to be honest and see the uh the coal guys get the coal to the road post as well we have two exits from this area and uh, that's going to work very very nicely now one thing that we do need to make sure of is um we want to change these road posts this guy probably and maybe this one so that they don't allow the food stuff to get by like uh the, the does this one have fish no fish but we do have meat uh and we do have water that we do not want to get out of this area so let's do that uh with this road post as well right water and meat great um and then we had this thought about moving a sawmill over here he showed me his uh what one of the uh, setups he had done in his colony which was to put the uh one of the sawmills or all you could put all of them here uh right in this area so that the, the, the wood could go directly to the sawmill so i think i'm going to do that let's destroy this forestry for now and destroy this sawmill yes and we're going to uh, copy this sawmill and we'll put another one right here. And that way we're gonna get our um, stuff right to the right place. And this is a good thing. Happy days are here again. So that's gonna allow much, much better um, movement of goods, so to speak. Now, with this comes a slight additional problem. Now, these stack bots have to travel a great distance to get to these forestries. So what I do want to do is get our uh, road layer to prioritize this area and just make it all, um, all upgraded roads. So we want to get that done. And hopefully now we'll be able to get other things going. Now we did find a problem with uh, one of the forestries. I think it, is it this one? So for some reason, this forestry isn't working. Uh, it's not getting any energy. Let's see, is one coming? Okay, energy is go. Okay, this one is working. Uh, at some point, some of these were not working at all. Like, I don't know if this one has a stack bot at all. I wonder if the stack bot is gone from here. So I'm going to delete this forestry. Yes. 
and then we're just going to replace it with this one and then that's cheap enough to to build again it's very cheap two logs only and then you get your forestry back now i would like to create another um forestry because we deleted one remember we'll put one here and then again go ahead and get this area sorted out with trees so that we can can have some nice greenery around here and it's it's quite lovely okay good very nice okay i'm very tempted to put the other sawmill over here as well possibly even make this road even shorter um so it's again it would be on the path um i'm not sure i think we can have maybe one there i don't know you know what let's just move it let's move it we'll delete this because it's not getting enough production anyway so we'll get this one and place it here. We'll delete this road and then put the path here. And that'll make it a little bit longer for guys having to deliver to the road post, but I think it should be fine altogether. Um, so yeah, and then the lumber can get, I think it gets stacked here. Yes, I think it's stacked here, but we could also move this back over here like this. Uh, so they have a place to put this stuff. Um, let's add the lumber planks okay and then destroy this one yes uh another good idea uh that avon had was that he put one of his workshops within the road loop which i thought was kind of cool the only issue with that is that later on you would have to upgrade that area which this one isn't upgradable really with this stuff but um you could also get the energy from these guys for level two or level three which we're kind of heading toward now one thing that i have um i also have learned is that you can click the gear icon here and you can find how much um a surplus or deficit you're making um which is very nice very very nice so right now we have <laughs> lots of buildings demanding level two energy uh but we're minus seven in the hole look at this wow so yeah potential is 11 per day and uh production and demand is 18 per day which is very very much so one thing that i would like to do uh which is going to be important is to get this forest completely gone uh, I want to, let's see, we want to get more foresters here and we just want to just kill this whole tree area because I have big plans for this. Definitely very big plans. All this guys, come on, take it out. Go, go, go. Here. Priority chopping area. Yes, 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 yes. Go. Uh, the other thing is we might need to make a line for this salt deposit. That is the only underground salt deposit. So after these trees are gone, we're going to try and get this salt deposit into our, um, our road, our area here. And I've been um, looking at some of the other things as well. Uh, many, many technologies that we're going to need in later game. So one thing that we really need to work on here is to get the next level of tech, we need books. Uh, these books are created at the printing press. They need materials that we don't have any of right now. They need leather from cows and they also need the um, the paper from the, the paper mill. So that's kind of important. And of course, this workshop cannot function because it needs energy level three, uh, which I kind of forgot to do. So I think, let me see if I can take energy level two, research, construction speed, maybe mining speed. Hey, we'll take this. Sounds good. Uh, so at least that is working. All right. So now this has been producing iron or steel, I should say, but we don't actually need steel. Uh, because this train station is done, we're going to stop prioritizing this particular steelworks uh, so that iron can go elsewhere. We only have a very small amount of iron and that's being produced in this little enclave here. So I think we may need another one eventually. But uh, this train is dutifully bringing stone out and we're getting uh, some... Uh, some uh, energy loaded on as well, which is nice, so that that mine can keep on going. Ooh, looks like our paper mill is functioning. This is good. Oh, look at this. Ah, yes, paper worker Wiley Coyote has generated the colony's first paper. Here it is. It looks very cute in these boxes, I have to say. Oh, the train. 
I love the train sounds. It's so good. So good. So good. Um, yeah, come on, guys. Finish. Do stuff here, please. Do stuff. Um, but yeah, we need to get level three energy. That is on our list of stuff to do. Um, we also need to build the whole uh, thing with the, um, the leather. So I think let's start with... Oh, looks like this is done. Okay, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. This is the bricks. Uh, clay. There used to be clay here. So I guess we're now we're going to rely on this shaft mine for the clay. Ooh. Ooh, get a surface mine. Good. Okay, so they're going to mine some coal once we get to it. These guys need to hurry and do these trees. Please, guys, hurry. Do the trees. Um, now, one thing you might need to think of is that the train can only go from one station to another. Uh, you cannot have multiple stations. You can only have two stations per track and that's it. What are you doing? Where are you from? Where the heck are you? Where do you live? Somewhere. Oh my gosh. This is most unusual. Oh, you know what? I think I had him clear this area. Okay. That's all right then. That's just fine. Anyway, um, let's get this road moved along as well. We could put a small watchtower here, level one. Because that, that's just so odd that we can't build there. It's like, what? Um, and then I would like to build a... We need to build our tannery and we need to build a cow farm. Now, the cow farm is quite interesting, I discovered. Uh, oh, but we need to also make this a proper road, I think. We had some fun road shenanigans earlier as well. It was uh, most entertaining. <laughs> yes, very, very entertaining. I could put that there. Okay, that's fine. There we go. I just want to have a road encircling the entire... Actually... Yeah, that's fine. Hmm... Okay, there we go. Let's just delete this. Okay, nice. Okay, train is it coming down. Look at this. Nice. Very nice. And hopefully we're getting some, yeah, we're getting some stone in here. All right, we have so many more bots printed. And um, yeah, guys, can you finish this please? Hurry, hurry. It's only a few more logs. It's fine. Just do it, please. So we can get the road connected. Well, actually, we need to get this road connected um, this way. One thing that I did learn is that if there is a bot um, on the train track, like in the middle of the road, they they have very high dodge ability. So they are able to dodge the train. <laughs> they don't get run over, in other words. Um, the other thing is, too, that you cannot put a road post on the train track. So that's something to think about as well. Okay, we don't actually need this watchtower, do we? Not really, but they're already almost done. Anyway, let's go ahead and build our cow farm right here. Now, I'm very tempted to build this thing on a path that connects to the road. Like, uh, like this. Whoops, not that. Uh, not like that. Like this. To have a pathway that's kind of away from the road, like this and to transfer stuff along the road. Uh, we are going to need a salt mine, and that's part of the whole process here. So if we get this salt mine, get a surface mine level 3. Yes, this also requires level level 3 energy. Okay, bread ma- oh, bread making. Now we can get level 3 uh, folks over here. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong way, wrong way. Actually, we might- uh, how is that going? Does that work? 
ish. It sort of works. Oh, well, there, there's a slope there. I might have to do it this way. No, it, it actually should join on the slope, I believe. All right, let me just get rid of this road and then make sure the edges join here. That's really what we need to happen. There we go. Okay, that's so much better. Except we need to just delete a lot of this other road as well. Okay, it'll be fine. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll get to it. It will be good. We just kind of really shook up the whole ground here with that um, particular stuff. Okay. There we are. Okay. Now I think this will go across. It'll go there. Okay, this will go there and can probably go through. I don't maybe I don't really want the road post right there. Um ah, it could be okay though. It could be just fine. Anyway, we want to have stuff being able to transfer without necessarily going to the road post. I'm very curious if this will work or not. I, I'm I'm very, very curious. We will have to see. Alright. Construction. Yeah, let's see what else we can do. Brewing. Yeah, we'll take brewing. Sure. Why not? Now, the brewing has some interesting numbers. Uh, that's kind of... One of the things about brewing I'm really worried about is the numbers. So if you have a brewery, it only makes 3.3 per day of beer. And normally you have a housing block and a group of four. So this is a little bit worrying to me. Um... We kind of discovered that wheat farms take up less space overall than orchards, though the um, the fields on wheat farms are 4x4 four four instead of 2x2. Two two. You need three of them, and they're more difficult to place. But that's okay. We're, <laughs> we're all experimenting here and trying to figure out what could be the best thing. So, all right, let's put our cow farm. I think I want it here-ish, maybe. Now, the thing about the cow farm is that all of the tiles need to connect. Uh, and this can be kind of frustrating. Is that a good word for it? Yes. The fields have to be adjacent. You cannot place them over here separate. So you have to have an area here where they can connect to each other. Um, oopsies. No, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't be bad. Bad to the bone. Yeah. Um, those work. Oopsies. No, no. Nope. Do not. There we go. All right. We need two more. Okay. That's actually okay. I think like this. That's fine. Now, one cool thing about the cow farm. It is, it has a ratio thingy majingy. So you can either produce two meat per day and one hide, or you can produce two hide per day or four meat per day. So this will replace the sheep farm uh, if you want to do cows instead of sheep. But we're going to use it primarily for the leather to make the books. So we're going to do two hide per day. Uh, I think right next door I would like to put in uh, the workshop, the tannery workshop. And we'll put this here. Or we could put it there. Um, the other thing that we do need is the printing press, which is humongous. Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't see that before. Oh, do you see that? Oh, that's nice. I didn't realize you could see the shadow on the ground of how big this thing was. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, All right, we're going to flip this. I want the entrance to be here. It is right across from this section here. So we'll put a road this way. And we might have to have our um, tannery right kind of over here like this. Yeah, like that. And this is this is going to be absolutely perfect, I think. Uh, we can get rid of this bit of road here. Uh, but the salt should come up here to the tannery and that should be fine. What are we missing here production-wise? Ah, we need planks and bricks. Okay. Oh, and we're getting the bricks. Are we getting materials? Oh, look at this. Look at this. The train is actually carrying the building materials to where it needs to go. I love this. This train thing is so good. I really love the trains. So this is one of the really interesting parts of this. This is a question I had. You know, if 
stuff was built at the shaft mine, technically it is shorter of a route to go this way along the roads, but the train is faster. Train is technically longer because of all these bends here that we had to make. Um, but now we're seeing building materials meant for these things, which are much closer to here, but it is faster to take the train. And I love that this is in the game this way, um, because it's, it's more fun. It's kind of more exciting. The only thing I really wish for, and this is on the wish list thing, is that we had the ability to have multiple stops per train. I would love to have, uh, the train go through uh different stations that would be really cool uh or even branches off to go um to another station that would be awesome too so all right so we got this going um now one of the things that we do want to do with this thing is forbid stuff i want to forbid meat just in case it accidentally gets on the whole thing um and we want to forbid hides as well so we'll do the same at this road post we'll do meat and hides just so it doesn't get escaping on us. And I love the hide icon, by the way. <laughs> it's so charming. It's like you have these Holstein cows, you know. I think it's the Holsteins that are black and white. Anyway, it's very cool. Let's just make sure that this is correct. I, I kind of like got, got sidetracked. Yes, this is exactly right here. Um, yeah, I think that ends at that tile there. So I think we should be fine with this. Okay, this forest is getting decimated quite slowly very very slowly uh, but hopefully it will finish soon uh let's see we have a little bit of iron there just kind of looking at what we need we have so this area is going to be we, we have a little bit of energy shortage every now and again but overall it's much much faster than having the issue we were having before with the road blockages and things like this so this is really working well and you can see the the road um Kayun is the road layer and uh, they are making the road so much faster for our bots look at that you could see them zoom and then they slow down that's wow that's a really good example of how fast they are on this road. Looks like the lumberjack bots are not that quick on anywhere. They seem to go at a constant rate, unless I was just not seeing it properly. Oh, look at this. Planks are coming in. This is great. So we are still looking for this to get uh, finished. But in the meantime, I want to start laying the roads for this new area. Now we do have quite a lot of watchtowers that are already placed here. Uh, I think I might want to get one more level three watchtower here or level two, not in level three, level two. There we go right here. So we can delete these two watchtowers. I want them gone. Okay. And here we're getting those fish. We really want those fish. Okay. So we're going to take this this way. Okay, nice. Um, that's the way we want that to go. And we want this prioritized to make sure that happens. I have big plans for this area, just so you know. <laughs> I have very big plans. Okay, hide created. Farmer Steve, hello. You made stuff for us. Fantastic. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Stackbot's taking it where it goes. Look at these. These are so funny looking. I, I do love these. <laughs> they look really cool. I like them. Okay. And we are chopping the cacti out here, um, getting that stuff out the way. I'm wondering also if we need a gold mine. Um, we probably do. We probably definitely need a gold mine. I think, you know what? We're going to have to, let's, let's save the materials for now for this area here, because this is very important to get this done. Uh, are you guys chopping that? Yes, you are. Good. The watchtower is going to get done soon. But guys, keep on chopping, guys. Keep chopping, chopping, chopping. And this entire area is going to be one big community with uh, paths and not roads. So it works absolutely wonderfully. So it's it's another just a testament to really strategic, strategically creating these small enclaves. Uh, they definitely work really well. So, all right, come on, guys. Go, go, go. Hurry, hurry. The meow is real. We're meowing at you. Here, let's speed up the game a bit here. Just let this thing get going. We still need some stone there. I'm surprised we don't have that much stone. Oh, there it is. It's right here. It's just being needing to be delivered by the stack bot. Let's go ahead and change this road so it's better. 
two less tiles to travel. Tannery has finished. Excellent. Okay, so the tannery is good. We just need materials from this mine. Watchtower is done. Okay, let's slow down the game again a bit. Oh, it doesn't slow down when it's paused. That sort of makes sense. All right, and we're just waiting for this uh, thing to be occupied. There we go. Very nice. And I also want these guys to grab that tree over there. Yes. Okay, good. Now then, I think we have enough watchtowers to delete these guys. So let's go. Sorry. Yep. Gotta go. Gotta go. And we have this area prepared. Oh, this is good. Trust me, this is amazing. Uh, and we'll get this one connected there. This one connected like that. And I think we should be pretty much okay except for just waiting for these lumber bots to clear this these few remaining trees uh we can start getting the fishing going on here for now fishing huts uh let's flip the first one take one flip two three and four technically we only need three but eh it's fine we have one idle workshop all right let's see what's going on with that Select research. Okay, we don't have level three energy yet, but ooh, we could do brick roads. Those could be really nice. Let's try those. Let's get those going. Okay, we're almost done with this area. Oh, this is so good. Okay, this is go this way. Take this road that way. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is start building lots and lots of farms here. But I think we'll probably, we should just save that for the next episode because we really don't have, um, oh, let's, let's prune some of these guys here where we don't have, destroy, there's nothing here. Okay, I don't know why the, all the logs are there, but we can put these lumberjack huts over here to start chopping these trees. Just getting that done. And I also want to uh, get some roads made here so that these guys can deliver their lumber back to town. Okay, there we are. Nice. Okay, and these are emptied out. Wow. Done. Okay. Very nice. So we have a huge area now that we can work with for our next colony for level three energy. So look forward to that in the next episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.